Belinda Bencic versus Marketa Vondrasova is the gold medal match for the Olympics for 2021. And both players have had different roads to get to this gold medal matchup. Vondrasova started the tournament off as unseeded and would take on the number 16 seed Burtons. And after losing the second set, Vondrasova would prevail in three, putting Burtons into retirement 6-4, 3-6, 6-4. Her second round matchup was against Bozinescu, and this was a much easier performance for Vondrasova, only dropping three games in a straight sets win. 6-1, 6-2. Her third round matchup would be against the face of the Olympics and the number two seed, Naomi Osaka. And after Vondrasova came out super aggressive, taking the first set, she finished the job in straight sets, demolishing the second best player in the world. 6-1, 6-4. Her quarterfinal matchup was against another unseeded player, Paula Badosa, who also had a great week, beating Sviantek along the way. And after winning the first set 6-3, Vondrasova was handed a retirement win after Badosa struggled in the extreme conditions of Tokyo. 6-3, retirement. In her semi-final, Vondrasova would take on the number four seed, Alina Svetolina. And just like the Osaka match, Vondrasova came out aggressive and it worked. She prevailed in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1, to advance to the gold medal matchup. Belinda Bencic started the tournament off as the number nine seed and would take on Pagula in the first round, who has been a very good player in 2021. But this didn't phase Bencic, who got through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. Her second round opponent would be against the Japanese player Doi. And again, easy result coming up for Bencic, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. Her third round opponent would be the number eight seed and French Open champion, Barbara Krajikova. And after going down bad in the first set, Bencic rebounded to win in three sets, 1-6, 6-2, 6-3. Her quarterfinal matchup would be the French Open finalist and number 13 seed Pavlichenkova. And after bageling in the first set, she was forced to fight in three, eventually prevailing 6-love, 3-6, 6-3. Her semi-final opponent was against the number 15 seed Rabakina, who had had a really good tournament to make it to this stage. And after Bencic saved multiple set points in the first set, she was forced to play three sets, eventually prevailing 7-6, 4-6, 6-3 to advance to the gold medal match. These two have only played the one time before, and that was actually a couple of months ago in Miami on the hard courts. And Vondra Sova got the three set win, so she'll be feeling confident going in against Bencic, having that win under her belt. If Vondra Sova's gonna win, she needs to be aggressive from the get-go, just like she was against Osaka and Svetolina, because we're finding that if she does become aggressive at the start, she can start putting pressure on her opponents, and against a player like Bencic, who would be the favorite going into this matchup, it's a gold medal matchup, a lot of pressure for both players, Vondrasova needs to come out aggressive. If Bencic is going to win, she needs to bide her time and just be patient, because we know what Vondrasova is going to bring, she's going to bring the aggression, but if Bencic can just be patient like she was against Rabakina, maybe she'll get her chances, and she's going to have to take those chances like she did against against Rabakina in that semi-final. Big matchup here in the gold medal. Both players playing for their countries. It's going to be a lot of pressure for both. There's a lot on the line for these young players because, remember, they're only in their early 20s. Bencic, 24. Vondrasova is 22. So very interested to see how they're going to deal with the moment because they're playing for their country. And it looked like Bencic, after winning her match, got a little emotional. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on the shoulders of not only the Swiss, but also the Czech. I'm going to go with Vondrasova to win this one. I think the upset's going to happen. I feel like Vondrasova has having that win over Bencic in Miami earlier this year on the hard courts and the pressure of the moment, I feel like it might get to Bencic and I think Vondrasova is going to cause the upset and continue that form that she has been all tournament. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the gold medal?